right, so we are ready to do cha-ching number five. So I'm just gonna go over a list of things that have sold recently for me and just kind of talk about them slightly and that kind of thing. So I'm really excited to do these videos because obviously that means things are selling. So I like to do them to kind of share with you what I'm picking up and like what it's selling for. So that way when you're out and about looking for stuff to resell, then you can keep an eye out for the same types of items. So I have a list of things. This is not everything that I have sold recently, but I like to give kind of like a mixture of things just, you know, to, to keep it interesting. So we're going to start off with the first one. These aren't in any kind of particular order. Uh, but the first thing that I have on here was a pair of Allen Edmonds shoes. So Allen Edmonds is just a really great brand to pick up. I actually paid a dollar for these shoes at a yard sale. It was one of those yard sales where like there wasn't prices on anything. And I'm, uh, I, I've just, when I'm at a yard sale and there's no prices on things, it just kind of drives me nuts because I never really know what they're gonna say. I just assume people are gonna want, you know, the top dollar for, for their stuff. So when the man told me a buck, I about like crapped my pants. So I got the shoes for $1 and they sold for $79.99. So definitely keep an eye out on Allen Edmonds. Like these shoes in particular weren't even all that fancy looking. I know like the wingtip shoes seem to sell for like a lot, a lot of money. Um, and these just weren't anything like super amazing looking. I thought they were kind of basic looking. I mean, obviously really nice, but you know, they didn't have that, that fancy look to them like a pair of wingtips would have. So another pair of shoes, I sold a lot of shoes and that's one of the reasons why I love shoes so much. So the next pair of shoes were a pair of Converse and these were um, kind of a collaboration with the designer John Varvatos. So that kind of helped boost up, you know, the price of these. I mean, I'm sure they cost a good bit originally, but they still have a great resale value. Uh, so these shoes we found at the Goodwill bins. Eric actually is the one that like swarmed in when the bin came out and just nabbed them up. Um, I need to start throwing elbows when I go to the bins. So that's something I need to start doing because you have to get to the stuff first before other people grab it. So we paid, I think shoes at the bins are $3. So we paid $3 for these Converse and they sold for $109.99. So definitely, I think the main reason these Converse went for so much was because of the collaboration with John Varvatos. But um, I definitely would pick up Converse, especially if they are an interesting color or if they have just a fun, funky print to them, I would still probably pick them up. So the next thing we have is another thing I love to sell, which is perfume and cologne. This was a men's cologne and it came from one of the box slots that I won at the auction. And I already made my money back from both of those box slots. So everything I'm making since I got my money back from them has been pure profit and it's already been a amazing profit. So I'm so excited for that. So this was from that box lot. So from the stuff that I sold and everything else, we're just going to say I paid a penny for this cologne and it sold for $49 and 99 cents. It was, it was called Bacchus. Bacchus. Um, so it was, I do believe a vintage, uh, cologne. It was pretty cool looking. So that was a really great sale. Uh, next thing also came from one of the auction box slots and it was a little manicure set. So pretty, it was made in Italy, had never been used. Every little um, thing in the kit, like the scissors and the tweezers, they were all marked Italy and it had a gorgeous, gorgeous print on the, the top of it. And I sold that for $25.99. So that was really awesome. So it was just like something so, you know, small that was in one of those boxes, but still ended up selling for that kind of money was really nice. I still have so much stuff from those box lots to list. It's insane. So next thing I have is actually a Victoria's Secret bikini. Summertime is coming. So definitely if you have swimsuits, 
keep them posted, get them posted. I leave my, like I'll, I'll list a swimsuit in the dead of winter. Like people go on vacations all the time and cruises and stuff like that. So I definitely don't wait for a specific holiday or a specific season uh, to get something posted. So this Victoria's Secret bikini, I picked up at a thrift store. It was a smaller thrift store and I only paid two bucks for it. So I got it for super cheap and I sold it for $39.99. So I like picking up Victoria's Secret stuff and definitely swimsuits I think is a, is a good thing to pick up. Uh, next we have this enamel pumpkin that we got at the auction and I can't remember exactly what we paid for it. I think we, we got it for a dollar. I can't, I can't imagine we paid more than a dollar for it. I can't remember off the top of my head exactly what we paid for. You know what? I think Eric did go up a little bit on the pumpkin. I wish I could remember. I can't remember. I, honest to God, cannot remember exactly what we paid for it. But I know it wasn't a whole, whole lot. But anyway, the pumpkin did sell for $28.99. It was really pretty. So that was an exciting sale. Alright, we got another pair of shoes. These ones are Clarks. I like to pick up Clarks. I have sold a lot of Clarks. Um, however, there are still pairs that I have that just, I feel like I've been sitting for a little while. So it kind of gets me a little like, I get in that mindset of, you know, when I, I see Clarks out, when I'm thrifting and stuff like that, it's like I don't want to pick them up because in my mind, I'm like, oh, I still have some listed that no one's buying. So I, I just like, you know, let them sit. So they really got to speak to me. These ones I liked a lot, though, because they were like booties, um, just really pretty. And I can't exactly remember what I paid for them. They came from the thrift store. So... I put down as a price like six to seven dollars so no more than seven dollars and they sold for $36.99 so not bad but not like crazy either all right another pair of shoes these ones were a pair of vans and they had just a nice like patriotic kind of uh, star print on them I believe Eric picked these up at a thrift store trip um, that he just you know sometimes he randomly stops at thrift stores um, on days that I'm working and will buy stuff I think he might have got them at community aid on 50% off day now that I think about it so I'm not exactly sure what he paid I cannot remember um, but we did sell those for $39.99. So vans are really popular and especially like if you find like printed ones, I would definitely pick those up if you can get them, you know, at a decent price. Uh, next we have a set of Cranes stationery. I love picking up vintage stationery. Um, it's just something that I enjoy reselling. Uh, there are certain things that I just naturally gravitate towards and vintage stationery is one of them. Um, this pack was brand new. It was still sealed. Um, you know, nothing in it was used. I bought this at a little thrift shop for $1.99. I think I paid for it and it sold for $25.99. So that's great for, you know, a box of paper and envelopes, in my opinion. It was really, really nice paper though. So that was a good sale. Okay, this one was super fun because I love when I buy something and I get it listed and it sells almost like instantaneously. Those are the kind of sales that get me like, yeah, I am so ready to get more stuff listed. It just gets me in the listing mood when you have sales, like practically as soon as you list something. These weren't like exactly, like, I don't think they were the exact same day I listed them, but they were not listed for very long. Like some things I have had listed for quite a long time, um, but I am more than happy I have the storage right now to, to keep things up. Um, so it does not bother me to have things listed for a while. These were a pair of Mark Fisher Chelsea boots I had just bought at a thrift shop that we had stopped at um, not that long ago. 
and I believe their shoes were like $4 and some change and I sold these babies for $69.99, which is awesome. I still have another pair of Mark Fisher boots that I got at the same thrift store that day uh, that I have not listed yet. They have a, a little bit of a blemish, so I'm probably going to have to list them slightly um, cheaper than what I listed these for, but I still feel like they will sell. So next is another pair of shoes. Uh, these ones are Torrid sandals. I got them at an indoor yard sale earlier this year and I feel like I spent three or four dollars on them. I can't remember, uh, but they sold for $42.99. They were brand new in the box and heck, I didn't even know when I listed them. They even came with like a little torrid dust bag. So super cute. I seen it when I was um, um, getting them out to ship. So that was just a little fun surprise. I hope the, the buyer thinks it was a fun surprise as well. Cause I didn't even like mention the dust bag. I don't think in the, the auction. So anytime I like picking up torrid brand, I think their stuff sells pretty well. Like for me, like when I buy it and I list it, it seems to go um, fairly quickly. And yeah, it's just a brand that I personally like, like picking up. So next we have another pair of shoes. These ones were a pair of Shimano cycling shoes. And we, this is our second pair of Shimanos that we have sold. So when we seen another pair, when we were out thrifting, we knew like, oh yeah, cycling shoes. Because, you know, that's how you kind of start to learn things. Like you buy something, you learn about it, you, um, sell it and then when you see it again if you see it again you know to you know buy it because it already sold the first time so these ones were a women's um cycling shoes the other pair we had were men's uh, i'd say we got them at good no we got them at salvation army so i can't imagine we paid any more than six dollars for them and they sold for 45 dollars and 99 cents so that was really good um, next was another thing of Eric's uh, Picard China. We have already sold the candlestick holders. They were in my last cha-ching. And now we have um, the sugar and creamer are in this cha-ching. We sold those. So the Picard China that we got was all in a shoebox that we paid, um, I want to say six or seven dollars for. I can't remember. So if you want to average it out, maybe two dollars for, for this little set here. Uh, we still have a couple more things from that shoebox listed, but we already made our money back definitely on it. Um, and the sugar and creamer sold for $33.99. So it's always fun, like especially when something sells that Eric is the one that picked out and found. He gets so, so excited about it. And we kind of made a little bit of a competition. Like when something sells, we're like, oh, was that something that I picked up or was it something that he picked up? And then we kind of like jab on each other about it. So it's, <laughs> that's really fun. Uh, so that was definitely his sale. Um, and the next one is his sale as well. This was a racing shirt, a sprint car racing shirt. He picked this up on 50% off day at Goodwill. So it would have been like $2 and some change. Uh, and I just kind of like, okay, like I see this type of stuff a lot around my area. I mean, like sprint car racing is pretty, pretty dang popular around here. So like seeing that kind of stuff all the time, like I don't really think about it having... <laughs> much value kind of thing, but surprisingly it does. Um, so this shirt sold for $24.99, which is kind of crazy for just a, you know, t-shirt. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm never going to just overlook the, the sprint car racing shirts again. So that was, that was a great, that was a great sale for him, I think, because it was one of those where like, I was just kind of like, Oh gosh, how long am I going to be holding on to this one? You know what I mean? But it sold and it sold the day after I think I listed it. So it was a very quick sale. Uh, next thing we got is a pair of salt and pepper shakers. These are by a company called Sango. And we got these at a little thrift shop. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm having a hard time remembering like what we paid for stuff. So these salt and pepper shakers here 
sold for $25.99. So that's not too, too bad. Um, I think I only, ha no, I have, I think I have two other sets of salt and pepper shakers listed. All right, we are at another pair of shoes. These ones are by Talbot's and I would say I got these at Goodwill and they were probably like, I want to say $4.99, possibly $5.99, but I think they were $4.99. Um, they sold for $33.99. They were really nice. Um, I've purchased, I've sold quite a few Talbot shoes. I think I have one more pair left that I've had for a little while, which I, surprises me that they haven't sold yet because they are brand new. Uh, next we have a Victoria's Secret. This is kind of like a makeup bag or um, travel bag, whatever you really want to use it for. It is. It was uh, rather large. I got this at Goodwill for $1.99 and it sold for $19.99. So not like a huge sale, but you know, I had had it for a while and I think I originally bought it uh, to keep for myself and then I just never ended up using it, so I sold it. Next we have an Etienne Eigner um, wallet. This came from one of my box lots as well, so I can't really give it a price that I paid for it because we already made our money back from the box lots. This was actually purchased uh, by a subscriber, so that is so awesome. I love when, um, I've had a couple sales now from subscribers, and I love when you guys like let me know that you purchased something. Um, it's just, it's so much fun. It puts a big smile on my face. Don't ever think that you have to purchase something from me, please. Uh, but I like to leave like little notes in with the packages but unfortunately sometimes Eric packs the stuff up before I have a chance and like ships it out like while I'm at work and I don't have a chance to actually put like a little handwritten note in. So if you are someone who purchased something from me and it didn't have a handwritten note, I apologize for that because I do like to do that for you if like I know it was a subscriber that purchased something. Uh, so this sold for $25.99. So that was so fun and I know that she loves that brand and my mom loved that brand so it just it warms my heart to know that someone else is loving something that like I would have loved to give my mom but since I was not able to obviously like it's just I love the fact that it's going to someone who is going to love it as much as she would have so that was a super fun sale next we got a game and I had said in one of my last uh, thrift store uh, videos that I'm always hesitant about purchasing games because of not knowing if all of the pieces are in there and the um, thrift stores usually always tape the boxes closed so you can't actually open them and look at the contents to make sure they're all there or see what kind of condition things are in and stuff like that. So this I basically took a complete gamble on. It was a vintage game called Rock Jocks. They had $2.99 on it. When I say vintage, I'm talking about like, um, I think it was probably from like the early 90s. Uh, Everyone can say like what they consider vintage and not vintage and some people will say that's not vintage But I definitely still consider that vintage. Um, I know it doesn't seem like a long time ago, but it was a long time ago uh, So I paid two dollars and ninety nine cents for the game I think everything was there except one piece I want to say and it was a piece that didn't really affect uh, the playing of the game type of thing. So it sold for $39.99. Um, so it's not, it's not bad. Um, it was large so that does like make the shipping cost go up. So um, I think for the most part, like if I pick up games again, I'm either going to only pick up games that I know are going to give me a good resale value to like sell the whole thing or I'm going to just part it out and sell like replacement parts, but it's gotta be kind of worth the while. Like I was looking up, like I had seen a girl talk game and then I was looking up to see, you know, what the game was selling for and that kind of thing. And it wasn't selling for a ton, but then I was seeing, um, I saw like a replacement part of like, there was like zit sticker sheets that came with that game. And I saw like the sheets of stickers were selling just by themselves. Because obviously if you have the game, you run out of stickers, you need more kind of thing. So that made sense. And then I had seen there was, like I was thinking about, uh, 
game I used to have called Dream Phone. And it turns out like the phone itself was selling uh, for a decent amount. I was seeing like sold for like $30 just for the phone um, replacement. So it's definitely something I'm gonna try and keep a little more of an eye on as far as that goes. Uh, so for $39.99, not too bad. Next we have a piece of jewelry. This was just a little bangle that I've had for a while. I just don't wear it anymore kind of thing. And that's that's the thing about selling. Like if you don't always have to go to the thrift store to find stuff to sell. I mean, you probably have stuff around your house in your jewelry box here and there that you just don't want anymore, you don't use. And that was kind of like with this bracelet, don't wear it anymore. So I don't really have a price of what I paid. I'm sure I got it at a yard sale probably paid 25 cents, 50 cents for it. It wasn't like anything spectacular, just a piece of like costume jewelry, but it sold for $12.99. Next we have an Avon men's cologne. This belonged to my dad, so I don't really have a price on it because, you know, again, we probably got it at a yard sale um, and he just didn't wear it anymore, didn't want it, so. Uh, we sold that and it sold for $26.99, so not too bad. Um, typically, I don't pick up Avon colognes and perfumes and things like that, but this one was an older one, uh, so it, and it did sell, so that was nice. All right, and then the last thing that I am really going to... Uh, Cher is a coach wristlet. I got this at a yard sale, I believe, last summer. A dollar, two dollars at most, and it sold for nineteen ninety nine. So not amazing. Coach for me, like there, I'm, I'm getting more particular about what Coach items I pick up. I prefer like if I'm picking up Coach purses that they're leather, um, and just more of like a recent style. Um, there are some vintage coaches that do go for decent money, but then there's some coach bags that I feel like, you know, you can barely give away anymore nowadays. Like, it just totally depends. Uh, so, but times change and things change, and what isn't selling now doesn't mean it's not going to sell in the distant future. Um, there have been times where I've had something to sell and it didn't sell, so I ended the listing, I sat on it for a little while, like tucked it away in a tote, and then years later, it's oh, worth more money now, you know what I mean? It's actually selling. Um, and then obviously, you know, you kind of, you just have to keep up with like the trends and keep up with what is selling and what's not selling, which is, it's, it can get very like, whoo, because just things change all the time and it is a lot of information to take in. So I can only share with you guys what I know, what is selling for me and that kind of thing. So I'm hoping that you know you are learning some things from watching my videos because I learn things from watching other people's videos as well. So that is everything for this cha-ching video. I always love like yesterday, I had so many packages to get together for this morning to ship out. So like I am already on eight things or so um, for my next chiching video. So I'm so excited for those. I had some really good ones. And yeah, that's why I just love doing these types of videos. So I hope you guys are enjoying them and you are learning some things to possibly look out for and all of that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.